Nitro Reel. We'll pause there on nuclear fission because it's almost time for recess. Johnny! Yeah? Because you didn't participate in today's discussion, I'm going to need you to clean the blackboard. Aw, Miss Nelson, I was going to play dodgeball. Billy got me in the face yesterday, and I was going to make sure I got him out Class first. dismissed. I expect a clean blackboard, Johnny. Huh. I expect a clean blackboard, Johnny. <clears throat> I'll show her a clean blackboard. There, what else? Well, Johnny, I believe you have a bad attitude. Josh, you can talk? I can do more than that. To the left, to the left, see? To the right, to the right, and hop. Josh? My name's not Josh, it's Chalky. And I'm here to help you learn and talk about your bad attitude. Bad attitude? I'll show you. Hey. That's not helping. I don't need help. I'm gonna wipe you out. Ah, see, this is what I'm talking about. You're starting to come across as if you don't want knowledge. And I know that's not true. You love to learn. So can I come down and talk to you for a second? I don't know. Maybe. That'd be all right. Oh, good. Let's start talking about what happened earlier today. Ah, do we have to? Yep, there you were. While Miss Nelson was explaining quantum mechanics, you were making a paper airplane. But I didn't understand the breakdown of subatomic particles. I was confused. So you made an airplane and flew it across class instead of just asking a question. But I didn't understand. It's quantum mechanics. You're not supposed to understand, but you are supposed to ask questions because that's the only way you'll learn. And God wants us all to keep learning. Aw, oh, gee. I'm sorry, Chalky. I did have a bad attitude. I should have just asked a question. You should never be afraid to ask a question. Even the smartest people in the world ask questions. That's why they're smart. Remember, knowledge is learning something new. So you can be better at whatever you do. Well, I guess it's time for me to go. So long, Chalky. Don't forget. If you're not asking questions, then you're probably not learning. Also, you probably should have...
choose two points so that the midpoint is two. Now the slope of the tangent is approaching two, but not equal to two. So what are you, tangent? What is the slope? Okay, so if we choose two as the midpoint, then f can equal two, but it can also equal 1.9, but we need to evaluate f of three. And b equals mc squared? Yes! <laughs> is this what I think it is? Oh yeah, yeah. It's the equation for the perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm. Isn't math delicious? You have a beautiful mind. Thank you. What do you mean? Why not how? I'm not sure I'm following. Well, <laughs> you said, you know what? And what is what? You know what? It's just a thing that people say. It's is it, Brandon? Yeah. Because there are so many other things to know. Like, do you know how? How to what? No, Brandon, no. Not what, how. Do you know how? That's the question. That doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Do you know who? I don't understand what Or you... where. I was just asking. And I'm just asking so many questions. And one of the greatest questions of all, do you know why? Why what? No! You're impossible. It's always what with you. I'm asking why. Do you know why? <laughs> why what? It's simply why. Okay, do I know why? Currently, no. Look, I was just asking. You know what? No! We... Ah! Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Come on in, come on in. Take a seat. All right. <laughs> the what? chair is shockingly comfortable. Oh, what is this cushioning? Oh, it's sturdy, yet pliable. Hmm. Huh. Amazing. Yeah, okay, I guess so. I've never really thought about it or noticed that before. Uh, so, uh, who are you and what do you know? Well, my name is Fran Crusoe, and what do I know? Hmm, so little. So little. Oh. What do you mean? Well, there's just so much to be curious about. Like, like this chair. Sure. But like you. What, what's your name? Oh, it's Brandon. Brandon. Mm -hmm. What's your name? I'm Steven. Steven. <laughs> Brandon and Steven. See, yeah. I didn't know that before I got here today, and now I know. Okay, so how do you use this curiosity? Well, I host a game show called You Know What. Why? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why you know what? Well... You know, I thought about calling it you know how, or you know why, but I feel like before we can get to the how or the why, we have to know the what first. Oh, yes, see, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for answering my question. Do you wanna play a couple of rounds of you know what? Does a leopard have spots? It does, we do. Oh, yeah, okay. let's play. <laughs> And welcome to You Know What, where we take you from what to you know what. Playing today are Steven and Brandon. Are we ready, gentlemen? You know it. No, I didn't, I didn't know that. That's why I asked, actually. Uh, yes, I am ready to play. Awesome. And Steven. Yes, Fran. All right. My first question. What is the largest ocean in the world? Pacific. Oh, man. Really? Really what? Is that is that true? Yeah, yeah. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world. Yeah. Wow, fascinating. Wait, you didn't you didn't know that? No, that's why I asked. Stephen gets eight hundred twenty three knowledge points. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Next question: What are the primary colors? Red, yellow, blue. Really? Yes. Brandon, is that right? Y yes. 
Fantastic. $7,384 points Whoa. to Steven. Whoa. <laughs> uh, did you know that you can mix uh, red and blue to make purple? 12 bonus points. Or uh, blue and yellow to make green? 73 bonus or points. Or red and yellow red make and orange. Amazing. 792 bonus points. I'm so good. <laughs> These points make no sense. Oh, they don't to really you. count, Brandon. Can't really put a point total on learning. This is the most absurd quiz show. Next question. What is the largest desert in the world? Uh, uh, the Sahara. Really? Oh, don't look at me. I don't know. Me either. I, I think so. I, it sounds like a big one. It does. What is the largest desert in the world? Get out. Get out. Antarctica is the largest desert oh. in the world? What? That is amazing, how? It says here, Antarctica gets less than 10 inches of rain a year, so it's considered a desert. But because it's so cold there, it's usually less evaporation than rainfall, and it turns to ice, and that's why the ground isn't dry like a traditional desert. <laughs> no way! Who what? knew? Not me. <laughs> what kind of game show is this? Uh, well, it's called You Know What, where we ask questions that I don't know. Oh. When is someone a winner? Everyone's a winner, because <laughs> you never stop learning. But the game never stops, because we're always learning. Yeah, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. It's like you don't get Thanks. it. Thanks, guys. Next question. What is the next segment of this show? It's Bible story time with Kellen. One million points! Oh, I'm so good at this! <laughs> Hey friend! Hey guys, what's up? What's the largest desert in the world? I want to say the Sahara, but isn't it technically Antarctica? Yes! Well done! You got a story for us today? I do indeed. Take it away. Our story today comes from the book of Matthew. It's about a person we've talked about earlier named John the Baptist. He had been telling people about Jesus coming and he is not a typical character. Did someone say not a typical character? That's right! Hit it, Greg! Glad you came, glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow by blow of the Bible story. On the Mel Solomon story recap. Thank you, thank you. I'm Melf Solomon. Kellen's gonna do his thing, and me and my brother-in-law Greg will just pop in for some light musical support. Light. Uh, Whatever works for the story, Greg. Oh. But yeah. Okie dokie. And as I was saying, John the Baptist was described as a pretty wild guy. He was also the cousin of Jesus. But John wore rough clothes made from camel's hair and ate locusts and wild honey. Oh boy, that's got me thinking of a tune. You know the one, Greg. When you're wearing camel hair and you want something yummy, the regular fare just won't fill your tummy. An omelet won't do, not even a chocolate bunny. What you really gotta have is some locusts and honey. That's what I'm talking about, Greg. Yeah, I'm personally more of a cicadas and syrup fella. Okay, so yeah. John the Baptist went on to baptize Jesus. And he saw the Holy Spirit come down to Jesus and knew that Jesus was the Messiah. But things didn't work out the way John expected. John was thrown into prison because he was speaking out against something the king had done. He had to wonder, was Jesus truly the Messiah? So, John sent someone to go ask Jesus. Oh, you know what that means, Kellen! You got a song. Does Bologna rhyme with mahogany? No. It does if you're struggling for a lyric. <laughs> Hit it, Greg! 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 Hey, don't pass go. Don't collect $200. Hey, you gotta lay off those late night Monopoly tournaments, Greg. Uh, Play the song. Uh, you know the one. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. 
When times are dark and you don't know which way to turn When the life you're living you no longer can discern Don't be scared, don't be blue I'm here to tell you what to do Get yourself a pedicure At least your feet will feel good What'd Jesus say when John asked him what was what, Kellen? Well, Jesus replied, go back to John. Report to him what you hear and see. Blind people receive sight. Disabled people walk. Those who have skin diseases are made clean. Deaf people hear. Those who are dead are raised to life. And the good news is preached to those who are poor. Blessed is anyone who does not give up their faith because of me. Whoa, ho, ho. I tell you what, if this wasn't the only microphone I had and it wasn't prone to shorting, I would drop it. <laughs> but I got to keep it safe. Hey, I got to sing a song about that one, Greg. Greg. <laughs> Did I miss Christmas? Oh. Yeah, you're off by a couple of weeks, Greg. Oh. Play the song, won't you? That's the one. When you wonder who someone is, look at what they do. Their actions will tell you if they're false or if they're true. And when you think of Jesus, look at all he's done. Healed the blind, fed the poor, he's got one and only son. That's great, Melv. Thank you. You got it, Kellen. Uh, looks like we're going to go have some cicadas and syrup if you want to stop by later. I think I'm good. Your loss. See you next time. Come on, Greg. Let's go catch some bugs. <laughs> great story. It is a pretty great story. Although John the Baptist was in prison and he had some doubts, he wasn't afraid to ask the question. It's terrific. And then Jesus' answer was pretty great, too. Yeah. I really do think some people expected Jesus to be a different kind of leader, one who would take power and use strength to show who he was. But instead, he reminded John that the world he was building was a new kingdom, one that included taking care of the poor, taking care of the sick, and taking care of the people of the world that were sometimes treated unfairly. That's great. Thanks so much. My pleasure. I'll see you next time. Later. You know, I think I'm sometimes like John. What, you eat locusts and honey? No, no, I have questions. But if I'm honest, I'm sometimes afraid to ask them. Right, but questions are good. It's how we learn. Absolutely. In fact, reveal the question. What questions do you have? Maybe you have some questions about how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Or you have questions about a subject in school you're having trouble with. You might have questions for your friend because you want to get to know them better. Or maybe you have some big things you want to know. Like maybe you have questions about God or about Jesus, just like John the Baptist. Don't be afraid to ask those questions. Yeah, you can ask God through prayer or ask an adult that you trust. You can read your Bible and it may answer some of those questions. Questions are a good thing, so ask them. Absolutely, but that's all the time we have for today. Yeah, we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Oh, yeah. I know, I know what that is. It's going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? What? You just said you know what it was. Oh, motor oil. No. Mm. It's honey. Oh. Oh, that's what I use for motor oil. That mm. seems unwise. No, no. Everything's smooth. And... I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> you got any guesses on what that was? Uh, I think it was... Um... <laughs> I think that was a, a, a death. Or at least some sort of communicable disease. All right, well, uh, I'll avoid that one. I got me a lady.
Grow. 